Hey, what's up, guys? Maxi here. Welcome to the video tutorial that you're always asking for. Um, people are always wondering which one's the correct race minimap that you need for a server, and not getting banned for like uh, raiding or anything. So this is the one with the waypoints, and I'm also gonna teach you guys how to um, install Optifine with it because a lot of people lag in Minecraft and maybe they don't have the best computer. So Optifine is really good to have. So alright guys so first of all I'm gonna the first link in the description is gonna be um, this website forge to download it you're gonna go to downloads and 1.7.10 and you're gonna click on and recommend it you're gonna install this one and it's gonna um, download it automatically and you're gonna well once you guys have it on your desktop um, we can start this Alright guys, so once you have Forge in your desktop, it's gonna only be one file. This one got generated um, because I ran the program and had to delete the, quit, the clip because I got uh, interrupted. So here we go. Um, you run the program and it's gonna install it and you're pretty much good. So then you're gonna open Minecraft. You have to run it once for it to work and then you're gonna run it as Forge. Um, let me check over here. Yeah, you're gonna run it all the way at the bottom 1.7.10 forge and then you're gonna go as play and what it's gonna do it's gonna generate every uh, folder and everything that the forge mod needs to work so it's gonna be take a bit longer for your Minecraft to start you're gonna see it's working because you see this little anvil getting you know smacked on and I don't know what to say anyways um, you can see that I have three months loading and well this is just you know the forge mod so up to there you can tell that forge is installed and when you go to your minecraft folder you can see that you have this new uh, folder called mods and that's it you're done for forge so now next link I'm gonna give you guys phrase minimap you download it pretty simple and, and at the same time we're gonna download up to find so you download it and there we go we keep them now I'm gonna put them on my on my desktop alright so here they are um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab those two files don't double click them or anything You're, this is so simple you just grab them and put them in here and that's it they're installed so now you're on Minecraft and both of the mods should be there and I'm gonna teach you guys how to customize the minimap so you don't have any problems with it and well everyone knows how Optifine works so let's make sure this is working because we don't wanna um, lead you guys into the wrong path Alright, four mods active, so that means something got added. Let's see, race minimap is there and up to find is there. Perfect. So let's create a new world. We're gonna call it uh, Cancer. Uh, just, I don't know, guys, that's the first thing that came up to my head. Um, okay. Can you hurry up, Minecraft? Thank you. Alright, whoa, my sensitivity is a bit high. Whatever. Um, the point is you can see the minimap over there but you're not able to see players and that's what you want on your let me lower this okay um we're gonna go into a server so you guys can see that it works uh, which one would be a good idea we're gonna go to that lion dot actually yeah whatever alright oh no I misspelled that alright we're gonna go to bad lion so you guys can see that I'm not lying and prove to you so you can see in the minimap you cannot see players um, you can only uh, see the buildings and if you don't like that you can simply just press M and change this like this and it's gone forever um, you can also customize your marker options and when you set a waypoint like uh, so you normally press it with C but you can change it this is how you set up a waypoint you put the name here whatever and you can customize it which I really like about the mod over here you press mods and you you guys can see it changes um, for example you can make like a beacon you can do a lot of things with it you can only put the name the beam like you guys can see the beam over here is a little bit light uh, distance like there's a lot of options so you guys customize or, or whatever you want to do um, yeah, so that's pretty much the video guys. I hope uh, you didn't have any problems with it. If you did have any problems, just tell me in the description. I mean, on um, the comments and I'll try to help you. And I hope you guys have a nice day. See you guys later.